High Court in Abuja has granted permission to a civil rights organization under the aegis of Incorporated Trustees of Center for Reform and Public Advocacy to apply for order of mandamus that will compel the Inspector General of Police, IGP, to prosecute the presidential candidates of the All Progressive Congress, Asiwa Jubolak Ahmed Tunungu, over alleged perjury. Justice Iyange Kuo granted leave on Thursday, July 21st, 2022, while delivering ruling in an ex parte application argued by the lawyer to the group Ugongo Fo. The ex parte application was filed by the organization following the alleged refusal of IGP Usman Aokali Baba to effect the arrest and prosecution of Tunungu for supplying false information on oaths in respect of his educational qualifications. More for why moving the application informed Justice Echo that is predicated on the rule of the Federal High Court to first obtain permission of the court before proceeding with a suit seeking order to compel the police chief to carry out his constitutional duties. Justice Echo, in a brief ruling, held that the ex parte application was meritorious and subsequently granted it. The judge fixed November 1st for the hearing of the substantive suits. The main suits dated and filed on July 4th by the group as the Nigerian Police Force and the IGP as first and second respondents, respectfully. The CSO said that the suit against the police was necessitated by the IGP's refusal to take action on its petition against Tunumbu over an offence it claimed the presidential candidate was indicated by the Lagos State House of Assembly in 1999. The applicants maintain that by sections 214 and 215 of the Constitution and Section 4 of the Nigerian Police Act 2020, the police have the statutory responsibility to prevent, detect, and investigate criminal allegations, whether brought to their notice by individuals, persons, or persons, corporate bodies, institutions, etc. Consequently, the applicants in the suit mark FHC, ABJ, CS 1058 2022 is asking the court for an order of mandamus compelling the respondents to comply with section 31 and 32 of the Police Act and section 3 of the Criminal Justice Act 2015 in respect of alleged crime laid out in complaints of the applicants encapsulated in the letter of June 16, 2022, received by the respondents on the same date and titled demands for criminal prosecution of Senator Bola and Metunungu under sections 191, 192, and 463 of the Criminal Code Act, Law of the Federation of Nigeria, 2004, consequent upon the findings of the Lagos State House of Assembly, Hard Hoc Committee, 1999. The applicants claim that by section 31 of the Nigerian Police Act, the respondents are duty-bound to investigate alleged crime brought to them and report their findings to the Attorney General of the Federation or of a state, as the case may be, for legal advice. The applicants added that by Section 32, subsection 1 of the Police Act, a suspect or defendant alleged or charged with committing offence established by an act of the National Assembly or under any other laws shall be arrested, investigated, and tried or dealt with according to the provisions of this act except otherwise provided under this act. The applicant further claimed it as the legal competence to invoke the jurisdiction of the courts to compel the respondents to discharge their legal, constitutional, and public duties in line with the law. It's lamented that its two letters dated June 16 and 27 to the respondents, wherein it demanded the prosecution of Tunumbu over alleged perjury have until now been ignored adding that respondents also have not notified the applicant of any action taken on the said letter. According to the applicant, following a letter by late legal luminary Chief Ghani Fawerimi in 1999, the Lagos State House of Assembly had set up an ad hoc committee to investigate the alleged acts of perjury, wherein the committee had in its report on page 13 stated that, however, on the question of providing false information on oath, sections 191 and 197 
we are satisfied that the statements of the governor's educational qualification, which he has admitted were incorrect, were not intended. The applicant in its petition to the IGP claimed that Tinubu lied on oath in its form CF001 he submitted to INEC in aid of his qualification for the governorship election in Lagos State in 1999. The applicant for that claimed that Tinubu forged all the educational certificates he listed in his INEC form CF001, which he admitted he did not possess in Annex C. For purpose of clarity, Senator Bola Ahmed Tinubu, in the said INEC form, deposed on oath that he attended Government College Ibadan and University of Chicago, USA, when in actual fact he did not. On the strength of the above, we respectfully demand that you initiate the criminal proceedings of Senator Bola Ahmed Tinubu, consequent upon the express findings of the Lagos State House of Assembly, as captured above the applicant added. From Lagos, this is Peace Mwaboko, News Express Nigerian Television.